welcome back students so in this video we will do problems related to work <coughs> that is in your textbook example 11.1 <coughs> twist 11.1 page number 148 okay page number 148 example 11.1 okay a force of 5 newton is acting on an object the object is displaced 2 meter in the direction of force then calculate the work done okay so the force is 5 newton the displacement is 2 meter we know the equation to find work work is equal to force into displacement that is 5 newton into 2 meter that is equal to 10 newton meter that is a answer simple na eh? so for work is equal to force into displacement okay now blue question the same page page number 148 blue question blue question a force of 7 newton is acting on an object and the displacement is 8 meter and the displacement is 8 meter in the direction of the force let us take that the force acts on the object through the displacement what is the work done in this case what is the work done in this case so force is equal to 7 newton displacement is equal to 8 meter we know the equation to find force f into yes that is 7 newton into 8 meter you just find the answer and write it here okay just multiply 8 into 7 so that much newton meter you will get the answer okay now example 11.2 example 11.2 page number 148 example 11.2 a porter lifts a luggage of 5 kg from the ground and puts it on his head 1.5 meter above the ground calculate the work done by him on the luggage okay so a porter is lifting this so this one is a ground a porter a porter is standing here he is lifting the luggage and placing it here on his head the weight is the mass of uh 15 kg the height is 1.5 meter height is 1.5 meter so what all things are given here mass is given 15 kg displacement is given 1.5 meter now we need the equation f equal to w equal to f into s w equal to f into s now how will you find this one we know the equation f equal to ma or the weight W equal to m into g. Okay, so we will write it like this: m into g into s. Or you can write it like this: work done is equal to m g h. If you are lifting an object. 
if you are lifting an object from the ground you can find the work done by using this equation w is equal to mg h if you are lifting an object from the ground we can use this equation w is equal to mg h here you can take the h as the uh, height of the uh, object or displacement of the object okay h you can take it as the displacement of the object g you can take it as 9.8 or 10 if it is given in the question you can take that value otherwise you can take it as 10 okay so how will you find this w is equal to uh, 15 kg into uh, 10 meter per second square into 1.5 meter 15 kg into 10 meter per second square into 1.5 kg okay 1.5 kg so when you multiply it you will get the answer as 225 joule 225 joule or 225 newton meter both you can write okay 225 joule or 225 newton meter that also you can write then next question page number 149 page number 149 blue question page number 149 blue question for a pair of bullocks exert a force of 140 newton on a plow the field is being plowed is 15 meter long how much work is done by done in plowing the length of the field so a force of 140 newton so f is equal to 140 newton the length of the field is that is the displacement is 15 meter now we can write the equation w equal to f into s that is 140 newton into 15 meter that is equal to 2100 joule 2100 joule okay then text back exercise <coughs> question number 11 text back exercise Page number 158, question number 11. What is the work done by the force of gravity on a satellite moving around the earth? Suppose a satellite is moving around the earth in a circular path. So, this one is the earth, this one is a satellite. So, to move a satellite in a circular path, centripetal force is needed. That centripetal force is provided by the force of attraction between the satellite and the earth and it is towards this. So, this is the direction of the force of gravity and in this direction the satellite moves. This is the direction of the movement of the satellite. So, the angle between these two is 90 degree. In that case, work done will be 0, work done will be 0, okay, work done will be 0. Then question number 13, the same page number 159, question number 13 
A person holds a bundle of hay over his head for 30 minutes and get tired. Has he done some work or not justify your answer? A person is uh, carrying a bundle of hay on his head for 30 minutes and he is not moving at all. He is just standing by keeping that hay, a bundle of book or somewhere it's, uh, whatever it is on his head and after some time he will get tired, isn't it? So, in terms of verses, whether he is doing some work or not. He is not doing any work. What is the reason? Displacement is not there. So, he is not doing any work. Okay. Since there is no displacement, he is not doing any work. Then, question number 158 question number 2 an object thrown at an angle to a ground moves in a curved path and falls back to the ground the initial and the final position of the path of the object lie in the same horizontal level. What is the work done by the force of gravity on the object? An object is projected or is thrown upwards after some time it will reach. This is the initial position, it is represented by A. This is the final position, it is represented by B. So, Force of gravity will be acting in the downward direction. Force of gravity is acting in the downward direction. Okay. Now, what is the work done by the force of gravity? What is the work done by the force of gravity? So, force of gravity is acting in the downward direction. This is the direction of the displacement. This is the direction of the displacement. This is the direction of the displacement. The force of gravity is acting downwards. Now, what is the angle between these two? The angle between these two is 90 degree. Okay. So, the angle between these two is 90 degree. So, in this case, work done will be 0. Work done will be 0. Okay. In this case, work done will be 0. So, since the initial and final positions are in the same level or in the same horizontal level, perpendicular to the direction of force of gravity. Okay. So, that is the angle between the displacement and the force of gravity is 90 degree. So, work done will be 0. Work done will be 0. Then, Similar one more question is there that is question number 5. A mass of 10 kg is at a, uh, is at a point A on a table. It is moved to a point B. If the line joining A and B is horizontal, what is the work done by the, what is the work done on the object by the gravitational force? Explain your answer. So, this one is question number 2. The question number 5, the same page, question number 5. So, you have to consider an object. This point is A. Now, it is moved to a point B. This is a point. So, this is a displacement. This is a displacement. Gravitational force is acting in the downward direction. Gravitational force is acting in the downward direction. So, what is the work done on the object by the gravitational force? So, here yeah, the direct, this is the direction of displacement. The angle between the force of gravity and the displacement is 90 degree. So, work done will be 0. Work done is equal to 0. Work done will be 0. 
ओके थैंक यू